Hello everybody, my name is Pill and Rider and welcome back to Fourth Horseman TV. Now, we are live again with more Chrono Cross. <clears throat> I apologize for the wait. So here we are. Just checking to make sure everything's running smooth. Mikey, my dude, are you out there? If not, just in case, I'm going to uh, turn up some volume here and uh, check and make sure everything's good. Gonna mute the mic here real quick. good to me sounds good I should say everything sounded good I made some adjustments to the microphone settings so hopefully my audio sounds a little more crisp um, yeah all right let's do this man we were heading to Fort Dragonia aren't deals. So we're gonna buy one more of uh, literally everything. Except for magma bombs. <laughs> we don't need any more of that. Okay, we're good with that stuff, so... You can only have one because you're still a child. <sighs> Grown-ups. I know, right? Let's give her electro build as well. My man's here needs a level one. Oh, we got Bushwhacker. Bush Basher. And we still got one of those. He's my dude with heal, okay. Hey man, that works for me. Hey, yo! Take my spiffy new ride. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Alright, so where are we going? What's over here? What is this? <laughs> We're not going there. We got no business. Water dragon. 
guy is naval. Marbul. Sea of Eden. Nothing. Yo. Oh, we got smoking. The Hermit's Hideaway. Okay, so that's where we're headed first. Burned out Hermit's Hideout. He just popped me in the nose. The hell. I don't really like it. That's correct. Maybe not. The correct answer is a disease under Monsieur Link's orders. Salut, Serge. Did you miss moi? No. <laughs> Harley. What have you done with Radius? Ulala. la. Glenn, you're all filed up. Oh, tell me. Excusez-moi, Serge. But do you know? Do you want to know why this? Why I bound this place to the ground? But you just said, dude told you to. <laughs> Not really. Ah, uh, we. Oui? Well, no fun. And one more thing, Serge. Monsieur Lynx gave moi another order. That is to slow down your pursuit. Here I go. Enfin, take all the time you wish. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my camera window now. Mm. I guess we'll test it right there. Why not? All right. Ba bap. Ba boom. Ba bang. Ah, you biz niche. Let's just zap her with a photon ray real quick here. Yeah. Quick little energy blast out of my hand was his Dragon Ball. I'm gonna beat this bitch with a wooden spoon. Whap! Bang! Pow! Moonbeams. Not bad damage, really. What does this do? Slap that hurts both body and soul. Keep everybody in tip-top shape, eh? Glenn! Dash and gash! Hit her with the bushwhacker. Giggity. Yo! I can do that too. Let me show ya. Wow. Oh, dang. Mon dear, moi is defeated.
Oh well. Turn my ringer down a little bit. Okay. Photon beam. Ooh la la, you are really strong. Play for Serge. Well, that's always the fun for today. Au revoir, Serge. Are you one of Lynx's minions? <laughs> Radius, you are safe. Oh, oh, is that you, Glenn? It's been a while. You seem well. I'm glad you are all right. Yes. Miss Riddle had informed me that Lynx and the General were headed to Fort Dragonia. I played it safe, went into hiding for a while. It looks like Link did pay me a visit. Link. <laughs> Lynx! Oh, God, the hero of time! I'm sure the General has no idea what happened here. Lynx is the one behind all this. I had a feeling something like this might happen. That is why I made sure to build a sturdy stronghold underground. I believe it should still be intact. Lynx must be plotting something. By the way, Glenn, who are these people? Oh, they are... Well, no sense in standing out here. Please, come in. Sure, old man. You got it, old timer? Mmm, I see. Oh, we were on slow mo. Apparently, I bumped the L2. First things first, old man. You got any treasure? What's this big sword over here? What's that kanji mean? What's up here? It's under these beds. It's in this dresser. It's in this plant. What's that kanji mean? All right, hold on. I gotta go get a drink. Be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Yes. Once I wielded the sword as a proud member of the Acacia Dragoons. Glenn's father, Garai, the blacksmith Zappa, and I used to tear up the battlefield. That was a good fifteen years ago. When Garai lost his life on the Central Continent, I vowed to become his son's guardian. I officially retired four years ago, after Dario received his father's sword, the Einlander. I've been here ever since, living a carefree life away from the rest of the world. However, Dario is no longer with us. Life is so unpredictable. It was then that Lynx approached General Viper. He spoke of the legendary treasure, the Frozen Flame, 
which is able to heal all illnesses and fulfill any dreams. I do not know what this man Lynx is plotting, but I believe General Viper intends to overthrow the nation of Korra with the power of this legendary jewel. Korra is a nation governed by militarism. It has brought suffering to many people on the central continent of Xenon. Perhaps the general envisions a bright and peaceful world, much like Guardia was at one time. Or, or he's planning to find the answer as to why we have continued to hurt and kill each other since antiquity. In any case, I no longer wish to involve myself in any conflicts. Besides, there is no way I want to face the General Viper in battle. Young one, you should plan to engage with Lynx. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Try that again. Young one, should you plan to engage in battle with Lynx, beware. He is a fearsome man. I suggest you rest here for the night and leave in the morning. There are many cursed spirits wandering the seas around here. Rumor has it that they attack ships and sunk, suck the souls out of humans. Maybe I already don't have a soul. Haven't you heard, old man? I'm already dead. Take care of yourself. Whatever lies ahead of you, believe in your friends, no matter what. All right, old man, thanks for nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. Maybe if I'm Glenn, try to talk to him? Perhaps it'll be different? Oh. The ground here is hot. Vegetation won't be able to grow here. Why would it just randomly tell me that? Probably a key item I use there. Isle of the Damned! Earth Dragon Isle. Gold Dove. said it's something about the hermit's hideaway being on the way. Somebody, I uh, can't remember. <laughs> I may end up having to look up where it was. Oh, 
we'll just fire out a quick Google search. Okay, well, as far as I can tell, we gotta go out into the world map over here. This is crazy. I'm gonna go up there. Oh, booyah, dude. Get this for Hmm. 
Classic. Do I have a mag? I don't have. Damn it! How dare! up with the bubbles anything behind the tree well freaking fine then oh I see you oh spiky trees what do they do Here they do absolutely nothing. Is it green? It's a red up top, green right there. Oh no shit. Yo. Old note. In order to wake up the monster blocking the path, use an aroma pouch and check all the plant life. Some of the plants will be attracted to the aroma. There are monsters in the forest that eat the pollen given off by these plants. Use the pollen to lure these monsters to the monster path blocking the path. Once you wake it up, all you have to do is defeat it, but in my case it defeated me. I'll leave this helpful note for anyone who wishes to get through. Next among the pile of bones is one bone different from the rest. Yeah, that's right. I was always pissed off about something. I think I was angry at myself for having no talent. Everyone would just laugh at me or mock me. I hated myself. I'm sure you ain't interested. Let's just get going. I don't need that. I want the chest. Ooh, aroma pouch. So it's just a matter of matching colors now, eh? Wait, wait, wait. Is it 
swallow at me? I may have to do it again. Balls. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, I can't let it eat the ball, can I? Biscuit. <laughs> this is hard. All right. So. Got the damn ball. Son of a biscuit. Is it still going to be back here, though? Oh, thank Jeebus. Sir, you little. Thank God. You have to defeat this thing to get through. Well, I'll give you this. Please forgive me. Bye bye. Okay.
I take it I don't have to do anything else here? Like, I'm so confused. Oh! With the 72%. Ah! in here. Magma bomb. A little worried about what I'm going to find back there. Bro, are you shitting me right now? That's a fair amount of damage. Oh, you freaking whiffed it, man. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't open my mouth. I was about to say I won't. Then I would have. Are you... Oh, they just keep coming out of a hole. I gotta push that boulder up there, I think. So this guy's gotta go. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Zambo. Oh, I should have just nailed him. Its weakness is wooden spoons. Get out of here. I really am worried about what I'm going to find up here. Shiza. Scared the hell out of me. Stand this right now. No kidding. What's the point of being here? Can I go out the front gate? 
I don't think that I can. Yeah, baby. Okay, well. I'm back down the well. I deserve that. Hey, there's new critters here. How about that? And those other weird things are all gone. that if I wasn't worried about exploration or rather being too weak for exploration and I had braved this area earlier on I could have recruited a different party member Later, Dink. Back in the boat. We're heading over to Water Dragon Isle. to believe but according to the fairies here the legendary dragon god really exists the thick wall of ice blocking the entrance to the underground cavern proves that only those full of mysteries i'm hip to iron man I'm down right there. No? Bite me, you little bitch.
Nice. Bip, bap, boom. Oh, baby. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do it on one dude that's already almost dead. Yeah. So, uh, bat this guy. And we'll bat this guy. And we'll drop this here magma bomb. Yo! That hurt. Shame experience isn't a thing, because that those guys probably would give a decent amount of it if it was. Pretty good physique. Did I ever tell you I did acrobatics? Hey, that's right. Used to be a clown in the circus. So what do we got? We got a scapula. We got a skull. We've got a pelvic bone and sturdy ribs. Holy crap. to find where I missed some of this guy's body parts because apparently I should have them all Guy back in oh, okay. Mojo. Alright, so back in the village, I gotta go back there to the
Let's see. Got the pelvic bone. Oh, I gotta go get a green tinkler from that guy. My god, I'm missing all kinds of crap. Okay, so I need to go back to the island and get my green tinkler. missing that spot <laughs> all right so we gotta go back up here gotta go over to the bar should let me in now yeah 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 So we got our green tinkler. All right, now we got to go to the Hydra Marshes. Before we do that, we're going to head over to the island village at the very beginning. This place, Arnie. I almost said Aaron. I think the Hydra Marshes are just right off to the east anyway, so this works. Uh, somebody has a basement. Holy crap. Oh, my. I'm gonna freak out, dude. <laughs> Okay, it's not here. Not here. I think it's down here. Mojo, it's a good luck charm from the Far East. And you feel the love and affection oozing from it? I don't know, dude. This is some creepy music. Lion shark, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Boogum. 
Hold on a second there. Love is always in the air. Love is always in the air. You're Mojo? I am Mojo, and I bring good fortune. Boogum. <laughs> that thing's terrifying. There's nothing droll about me. Just a word of advice. Stop running and come face to face with your life. Messenger of love and courage I am. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hell yeah. Nothing like a creepy voodoo doll thing. Alright, we out. Now... Okay. Back to collecting Skelly's pieces. I've literally never found all the parts to this guy, so I don't even give a shite. I'm, I'm doing it. I think the most I've ever found was like five pieces. And I think at the time I remember thinking, man, how many pieces, how many bones do I have to find for this guy? Let's see. We're going to tinkle the rest of the marsh is open for exploration. North, use the green tinkler on the plant to your left. Okay. Gotta see how much damage I'm taking being in this acidic water. Oh, hardly nothing at all. You gobshite. I hate games that poison affects you out of battle. Absolutely hate it. Is it up here? I thought I'd find the safety gear. I said somebody up here's got safety gear. Gotta be crazy to walk around this forest without protective gear. Now, do I have to actually use them? If I do, that should be good enough. And go up 
this way and go up that way. Wait, I seem to recall maybe being able to climb down. Oh. Okay. That settles that. Bushwhacker! Ow! Maybe now I use the tinkler? Carapache. Yeah, let's uh, grab this auto save. Next area is southeast along the second path. Enter the hole. Well, I can't say I really like that idea. <laughs> I don't think I'm going the right way. going the right way. Didn't mean to fight that. We're gonna run away. Game? Hey, the good backbone. Now I remember. I have really good posture. Must have been from the proper upbringing old grandma gave me. Grandma? That's right, I was raised by my grandma. What the hell she's doing? Bet she's worried sick. Oh, dude, I could have just killed that plant and walked up this way. Alright, let's 
get out of here. Up this way, we'll stomp these dudes in here. Mwahaha! <laughs> a rare flower that only be growing in poisonous marshes. Finally, it be ours. All because the Hydra be extinct now. Mwahaha! <laughs> Humans destroyed the ecosystem to kept the water clean. That'd be why the Hydra dried out. Dried out. <laughs> dried out. With the ruler of the forest dead, the dwarves be gone now. The forest be belonging to us. What are those two talking about? What be you looking at? Pretty impressive, making it through the poison marshes. But there be nothing here. Get lost. Beat it. Oh, wait. They must be pretty weak from the poison. Let's have fun with them. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Let's tear them up. Pretty sure I'm going to stomp a mud hole in these guys' asses. You're dead. You're killing me. <sighs> uh oh. We're all greened out. He doesn't have the heal all. Shoot. All right, hit him, Glenn. Oh, he's freaking poisoned. this guy up over here bam wrecked all right so that didn't go as smoothly as I thought it would but still went pretty good all right so we got the life sparkle now and I forgot Glenn's still poisoned because you know horse crap Kidding me, right? Apparently, I need more silver loops.
I hate this place. I hate it with a fiery burning passion. Tinkle this thing. I sparkle. Green tinkler. Man, just can't get around it, can you? We just gotta get poisoned by this thing. <laughs> Poisson! I'm not moving. Man, that messed her up. Screen for some mixed bowls. Oh man, I don't know which bone is which. I'll just connect whatever. Yeah, the foot bone is connected to the leg bone, the leg bone's connected to the knee bone. All right, all right, I'll shut up. But seriously, though, thanks a lot, guys. I'm finally in one piece. I'm sure we'll meet again some somewhere, someday. One of these days, I'll return the favor. Now we're gonna go to Termina. Go get Skelly. <laughs> For the first time ever, I'm gonna have this skeletal thing. I love it. And here. Strange, that clock hasn't moved for ages. Look at him, he's glorious. And terrifying. I I'm home. That voice. Could that be you? It's me, Skelly. I've come back home. Skelly? Oh, Skelly. Come over here and let me hug you. Grandma. Skelly. Skelly, why are you so thin? Haven't you been eating well? <laughs> Grandma, I don't know how to break this to you, but... It's alright, it's alright, Skelly. 
I'm just so happy that you're back. Must have been very hard on you. Don't leave again, Skelly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, don't cry so much. My clothes are gonna get all wet. I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm so happy. You always told me not to hold back tears of joy. Skelly. All right, walk out, come back in, we're good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks to you guys, I can hang with my grandma again. Ask me if there's anything I can help you with. Skelly became the life of your party. That's hilarious. He's a clown and he's dead. Well, as cool as he is, he's, he's staying out. He'd probably be pretty big help if I kept him in the party and leveled him up a little bit. Alright, so now that we're done with that... Oh yeah, the fog. I kind of figured that was going to be the next place we had to go. Alright. I dig it. refreshing <laughs> see if we can't go get Glenn a better sword eh? wonder how we recruit Zappa So Mojo, Greco, and Skelly all use glove. Oh, man, that dude's already got an iron glove? We're gonna be walloping some people. make the iron mail, but I'm not sure. Uh, well, we can at least make her a copper one. Need humors for the males. It's a shame. I could make an iron vest, just kind of seems like a waste. We'll wait. Yeah, I know about the rainbow material. We talked about it before. Thanks. Hey, lady. Disassemble these copper swords for me. Can I not? Oh, they're there. Just kept overlooking them. All 
Alright. Forge. Armor. Gimme the iron mail. already wearing copper mail, so he didn't need it. Alright, we are good to proceed into the fog. <laughs> Gonna save on the world map. I can indeed. Nice. Rack the oars. Could this be the ghost ship? Looks pretty physical to me. We will not be able to navigate our boat in this fog. Pretty sure I could. I know where the island is. Pirates. Make way for Captain Fargo. Arr, you seem to be a bit young for one of Lynx's subordinates. But who cares? What do you want from us? That's up to you. But first things first. What's your intention? Eh? Don't play stupid. We know you're trying to get to Mount Pyre. We saw General Vipers and... Lynx's ships anchored nearby. Are you trying to deliver them a message? Is that it? No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're mistaken. <laughs> We're actually after them. They're our enemy. Enemy. Huh? Are you serious? Explain yourselves. I see. So that explains why you're after Lynx. But don't you know you're risking your lives? Don't you recognize the danger associated with Lynx? He's a monster. A cold-blooded monster. An incarnation of death. To be frank with you, we've had our share of encounters with Lynx too. But that was a long time ago. Ever since then, we've had to disguise ourselves as this ghost ship. So you're going to face Lynx, eh? It's easy to say, but... But what, huh? Arr! Bring out our you-know-what. Aye, aye, Captain Fargo. I just want to see if you youngsters can match up to the likes of Lynx. Just make it sure you will talk. Looks like you're there ready. Let's see what you can do. Skeletons. All right. All right. Nail him with the photon ray. Yum. It's a freaking broom. Chewing from a spoon to a broom. Nail him with the ice lands, fudge it. 
Hey, that's what Sorceress Adea used on Squall. Capsules, nice. Just loosening you up. Time to get serious. Ollie! Sorry, dude, but I'm gonna have to fuck up your your bird. I mean, budge up. Dang it. F-bombs. Well, let's see. Yeah, we'll have a quick little photon ray, see what happens, huh? Dang, man, that's some serious damage. Dude, not cool. Go ahead and hit him with that. Good lord. All right, Glenn. Let's hit him with the extract. Welcome. Bap. 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 Map. Map. All right, let's see here. Hit him with the aqua beam. Slants. I killed your bird, you scurvy dog. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> Magma burst. Not bad, mateys. We'll meet again, is what he said. Ag, stronger than I expected. You got me blood boiling. I'm next. Yeah, having to run the gamut over here, ain't we? Jolly ho, up and at him. All right. Let's hit him with the photon ray. Well, let's get him with the electro jolt. See how that does. That was some good damage. I like the cut of your jib.
Yow. Now I'm with the meteorite. Right? Set you straight, didn't it? Smarts. Nice guys, got some new element stuff. Another meteor, right? Not bad, but keep in mind we be pirates. Yeah. Oh, hey. You're a dirty fighter, I see. Surge! It'd just be a tranquilizer made from jellyfish stingers. You lovers will sleep for a while. Well, that's that. I'll stick these land lovers in the hold. Oof. All right, Serge. You don't look so well. Be on your guard. There's something going on outside. <sighs> Stand and watch ain't easy. What's up with the fog today? Can't even see the water out there. Uh, I'm not scared. <laughs> Something's up. You shyster. Blickety blam. You hit like a woman. That was rude, wasn't it? You know what? I haven't even seen what this does yet. Just bitch slaps the hell out of him. I take that back. That guy does not hit like a woman. Because that, that girl just beat the shit out of that dude. Can't smack the shit out of that guy. effect Gwen has on him right now. I thought for sure that was going to be instant death and then he survived, so I don't even know what the hell that was. Hell soul. These monsters doing here? What's going on?
Well, well, well. Good, he doesn't have an effect on him still. Okay. That's gonna do it for tonight. Got another two hours in the bag. We did a little bit of stuff. We got some more story-focused things done. We recruited a couple of people. Got some equipment made. We got uh, some levels put in. I think we're doing pretty good. A solid uh, two-hour stream in the bag. Um, I don't want to accidentally knock my soda over here, so give me just a moment. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. Pleasure as always. I had a great time. I hope you did too. If you made it all the way to the end of, end of the video, that means you uh, actually stuck around for something. So I hope you were entertained. And if you were, make sure you hit that like button. Share it with a friend. Don't forget to click subscribe and ring that bell. All right? Um, we're here every day. Ish. Uh, I for sure will be streaming Monday through Friday. Um, I'm really enjoying streaming over here on YouTube gaming. Feels like there's a lot less pressure than on Twitch. And I'm not sure why that is, to be honest with you. I think it might have something to do with the fact that over on Twitch, I, uh, I don't know, I feel like people... Uh, I feel like I'm expecting people to watch more, but over here on YouTube, I'm not. So, uh, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you had a great time. Um, I'm still, I'm just absolutely loving being able to play Chrono Cross all over again. It's one of my absolute favorites. Hopefully it's going to be one of yours if you're over here watching me stream it. Uh, if you're not, you should be. <laughs> so, thanks again. Uh, hopefully I will see you here next time. Um. And, uh, make sure you're taking care of yourselves, take care of each other, be sure to tell somebody you love them, and, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.